Good day, YouTube fam. It's Millie here. And Fred. Welcome, Welcome to, to Tekkenari. Today, we're diving into how to lay down the law on spotted. this character. Punishment 101, people. So, Millie, a punish is like when you catch your opponent with their guard down, right? Exactly, Fred. It's all about unleashing the correct Punisher right after blocking their punishable attack. So this punishable on block moves, how do we spot them? Well, you have to recognize some of these moves. That's why we're here, right, Fred? Yes, but what I'm asking is what is the frame data regarding such moves? Basically negative 10 or lower, Fred. That's when you strike. Got it, Millie. And there are different types, right? You're on point, Fred. These are launch punishable on block, punish on block neutral, and punish on block while standing. Can you tell me more about launch punishable? Sure, Fred. Launch punishable on block moves are the moves that you can punish using your preferred launcher since these moves are negative, 15 and below on block. Now, Mili, can you tell me more about Punish on Black from Neutral Stance? Okay, Fred. These are moves that you can punish when you are still standing and not forced crouch by their attack. What is the frame data there? In this category, we consider negative 10 to negative 14. Okay, let's check it out. And what about punish on block while standing? When do we use those? That's for those sneaky low attacks, or when you're forced to crouch, keeps you nimble. Wow, let's check it out. Ah, makes sense. And what's this party reversal, power crash, and sidestep strings? How do we use those? You can use those when you successfully read your opponent's playbook. You wait for their move, 
and then bam, punish him mid-string. Wow, let's check it out. And the dodging high strings, duck and punish, right? Exactly, Fred. It's like dodging a high five and turning it into a slap on the wrist. If you know their string, you wait, dodge the high, and quickly release an attack. Great, let's check it out. Lastly, what about when we're on the receiving end? How do we turn the tables with on it moves? Even when they hit us, knowing our frame data is key. It's like finding a silver lining in every punch. Basically, if the opponent's advantage is very low after hitting us, we can still do a lot of things, not just block. Makes sense. Let's check it out. Thanks for breaking it down, Millie. No problem, Fred. Thanks for joining in, folks. Remember to drop your comments below and smash that like button if you want to see more. Until next time, keep punishing those opponents. See, see ya! ya.